Hello, Taurus. How are you, Taurus? I hope you're well. This is a reading for you for the 7th to the 14th of November. Let's see what's coming up for you. So I'm using the Angel Wisdom Tarot by Radley Valentine, I think. I can't see the box, but I do think it is. It's definitely the Angel Wisdom Tarot, that's for sure. Wow, Six of Cups. So the Six of Cups can be asking us to release the past. Children or childhood, revisiting old dreams or plans, embracing your inner child, the return of people or romances from your past, romanticizing how things used to be. So Taurus, are you romanticizing about how things used to be? Things coming back from the past is more what I'm getting not necessarily an ex could be a job that you used to do that you might do again <laughs> okay and your next card is the emperor Okay, so this is really good to get this next because it is suggesting some sort of authority. Maybe an authority figure is offering you a second opportunity at something that you used to do. Now, what is symbolized here, you know, he's got his f one of his feet, uh, he has a foot on a stall that has the airy symbol on it. The emperor does does represent Aries, but not necessarily in this reading. Logic and organization will increase your success. Take charge of the situation. Accept a leadership role, structure and discipline. The accepting of a leadership role there is what is resonating the most with me. That card wants to come out, whatever that is. Interesting. Enthusiastic. Optimistic, creative, impatient, news of exciting opportunities, allowing your creativity to soar. Do things that fuel your passions. Now this is the page of wands, obviously. I I, I call that the, the Ed card. That's Ed, right there. So, an opportunity coming back from the past, being offered to you by an uh, authority figure, a uh, person of status, maybe certain standing. And to me, it does actually look like it is a stage thing. But I think you are also being asked to step up to the plate into a leadership role, maybe with a collective, maybe independently. The Four of Pentacles. Managing your resources wisely. Extremes in how you give or receive money. Time or emotions. Smart business decisions. Seeing things as black or white. Being 
charitable. So I'm going to encourage you to not necessarily say things as black or white because there is always a, a grey area. And also, this might be indicating clutching on to money quite tightly because she has a purse in her hand that she's holding on to and holding it quite tightly to, to her bosom. Managing your resources wisely, extremes in how you give or receive money, so you might be being encouraged to give smart business decisions. Seeing things as black or white, being charitable. I, I think, because there is grey on the wall in the background there, I think you are being encouraged to see the grey area. Or maybe, quite simply, you're buying a ring for someone, like she's doing, or thinking of buying a ring for someone. I th the ring symbolism there I'm picking up as a collective in a in a job way okay now actually I'm gonna keep pulling these I'm gonna keep pulling these cards uh, I think we're gonna sneeze it's cuff <coughs> Now that one poking out the top, the wheel of fortune. So it looks like there is definitely an opportunity to be receiving six of cups is also blessings from the universe. Your first card out, the wheel of fortune, a fresh new start or the end of delays, sudden or unexpected progress, a very positive change in your life, travel or a new vehicle. Hmm. So that's great. I really like that. And and also what's uh, important here is she is most definitely pointing at the Wheel of Fortune. And this Wheel of Fortune card, because I have said this quite a lot in some readings, you might you may have heard it, you may have not. But I always get a similar vibe from the Wheel of Fortune and the World card. And look, this Wheel of Fortune does have the world on it. So joy to the world. The, the, the Lord has come. May we receive his... Everyone prepare him room, basically. Okay, so everything's really good so far, second row down, um, I normally pull six per row, but there's five because they're much bigger cards, so focusing on the negative, things not turning out the way you anticipated, forgiveness of self or others, everything happens for a reason, look for the hidden blessings, coming underneath the six of cups, so forgiving the past. Leaving the past where it is exactly in the past and forgiving that time. Like forgiving yourself for anything you might have said that you regret or forgiving the way that others have treated you equally. But forgiveness. Forgiveness of self is just as important, possibly more important. Because then you enter guilt, and guilt, hilt, guilt, hilt, is like damning yourself. It's like kind of like spiritually disemboweling yourself, basically. Nine of Cups, fantastic, under the Emperor. So this authority figure, this person of status, has something to offer that will make your dreams come true. Wishes come true. Your dreams become reality. A magical time of life. Good fortune. Faith in the universe that all will be well. Great. Have faith in the universe that all will be well. That 
that's definitely a sentiment that I concur with. Okay, Taurus. And underneath the page of wands, underneath Ed, what have we got? Well, one of my favourite cards. It is a representation of the fool. A new start. Trust yourself. Push your fears aside and take a leap of faith. And look here, look. There is a guardian angel watching over in that doorway. So take a leap of faith. Push your fears aside and trust yourself. The dreamer. Dreams becoming reality. Especially because it comes after the Nine of Cups, which is coming true. So there's a golden opportunity for a dream that you've possibly had for a long time to work out. Lovers. Well, so it could be love. Embrace true love and deep, intimate friendships. Make choices from the heart. Vibrant health. Or, or recovery from illness. So maybe if you've, uh, I don't know, had a bad back is what was coming into mind looks like there is an opportunity not right now not necessarily maybe towards christmas into the new year that will be healing well there's an opportunity to ask your angels for healing asking this angel i'm sorry i can't remember all the names of all of the angels on the cards i i i humbly apologize and beseech thee for not remembering all the names. Okay. Let's roll. Ah. <clears throat> the Queen of Wands. Hmm. Now the Queen of Wands can be quite a seductive energy can be the seducer in the tarot. <clears throat> Brilliant, talented, independent, mm, but possibly controlling. There is nothing you can't do. Believe in yourself. Never underestimate your ability to make your dreams come true. The need for balance between career and personal life. Now, the Queen of Wands is a charismatic person. So I do think that um, it's great to see the dreamer and the lovers together. Really standing out to me. Um, I really think that you might need to just show that side of yourself, that, that, that side of your character, that, that charismatic personality that you have. <coughs> and what, let's pull one more for luck. Two of Wands. Wow. I was going to say, pull it with the Wheel of Fortune. And there is a there is a globe in the middle of that Wheel of Fortune card. And there is one here. Taking the next steps. Bold and ambitious choices. Partnering with others who share your dreams. Expanding your plans. Continue to move forward. So I'm seeing that Queen of Wands is possibly like a fire sign that might be um, a bump in the road. So an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, who might be 
a bit of a tricky person in this situation. I'm seeing a group of people, that collective that I spoke about earlier, like waiting at a train station and waiting for someone, and they're all really shocked when this person decides, no, I can't come. I, I can't come. Because everyone's expecting that person to, to come, to definitely be part of the team. That, that, that could be an aspect of what is being said here. Okay, okay, I'm going to pull you an Angel of Light Oracle card. Here we go. Mercy. Now, hang on a minute. This, this, this came out just the other day. I think it might have been for you. To develop the quality of mercy, forgive yourself and everyone around you. Be magnanimous. See the good in others and give them the benefit of the doubt. Open up to compassion, but most of all, access the wisdom within that recognizes the divine in every creature. When you temper your attitude to others with mercy, you offer them grace. You spread much light, joy and freedom and empower others to find the good in themselves. Choosing this card may mean that the angels of mercy are offering you release from your pain or difficulties. Accept it graciously. The affirmation with this card is, I am merciful. I am merciful. You, you are. Merciful. Okay. Nice, Taurus. Have a great week. Don't forget to check your moon and your rising sign. Take care. Peace.